Um, by the way, um, John did not bring us any gifts from Alaska other than pictures. However, our next guest has brought us gifts. Uh, and her name is Amy Orndoff from Berkeley Senior Services, who brought us all cheesecake. Yeah, that was my peace offering. <laughs> but no forks. That's, no forks. That's the, <laughs> well, it's Lent. Yeah. Well, I, I thought about that. It's but a temptation, I, sac- sacrifice. Well, I think everybody has forks, yeah. like in their, you know, in, the, in their break rooms or whatever. One so. would think, right? You would think. I hope so. If not, if not you know, I can run right out. No, to... God made forks for you on your hands, right? <laughs> well, so you get a little messy. Your last, you come on every three months or so, and your, your last appearance, you were in another country. I, I was in the Dominican Republic and completely lost track of time and what day of the week it was until about nine o'clock in the at night when I was having dinner and it hit me and I think we've been doing this on for 11 years that mm-hmm. I've been at the senior center and I think that was the first time I had actually forgotten our date and I, I felt horrible so I had to bring a peace offering so hopefully <laughs> sugar fixes everything right I think it does okay, I'm, good. I'm good with it I didn't even know you'd missed before but you know I accept your apology <laughs> well you know on behalf of all of yes, us probably yes. no one would have ever known but Rob and I but I felt yeah. so guilty I, I had to do something to make up well for my it, wound so. does not feel entirely healed with just one <laughs> piece of cheesecake <laughs> it, it's, I have more <laughs> my wound would be healed if I had a fork <laughs> Okay. I will work on that. I will work on that. Colin gave up sweets for Lent, so I took Bummer. him a piece no. of cheesecake, and he <gasps> he looked a lot like a really sad dog when I oh. when I had to take it back See, away. See, now I feel horrible. So the next time I come, I'll have to bring something just for Colin. Gee, we have to determine what he gave up though. The next time you come for Lent, bring him some fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were in Alaska. Why did you bring yeah, back a salmon <laughs> in my carry-on? <laughs> that, that would have been quite the aroma, Ugh. right? Hey, uh, let's talk about uh, Berkeley Senior Services, Amy, and what you have going on. It's tax season. Do you have a tax repair it's, coming in? We we do not, unfortunately, this year. We've been referring everyone to the library. Um, but or, we, or CPA Ken or Apple. Or CPA Ken Apple yes. or, you know. Um, but, yeah, so we, we were unable to, to fulfill that this year. But okay. um, we are open and at 100% and pre-COVID um, kind of – operating procedures so we're we're really excited about that uh we're really excited just to have the seniors back and to have the building full again and to have our buses full again so um you know our seniors are are getting the services that they need and and we couldn't be more thankful uh as we missed the the last uh, quarterly appearance by you can you refresh uh, just kind of put turning that screw a little uh, tighter no, uh, can count. can you uh, refresh everybody with the services that berkeley senior services offers both for those who come to the building and those who can't we have um many programs for seniors anyone over the age of 60 we offer transportation services to and from medical appointments as well as to the senior center we have a respite uh, team that can care for um, a loved one with Alzheimer's or dementia while the caregiver gets a much needed break. We do that at the center as well as in the homes. We offer in-home care services for seniors that really can't take care of themselves uh, and may not have anyone locally or even if they do have locally that uh, we can come in and, and give them a bath or help them with their meals. We have a nutrition team which serves meals at the center every day between 11.30 and 12.30, as well as deliver them to homebound seniors that are not able to get out. We have transportation for seniors to run necessary errands, need to go to the bank, need to go to the grocery store. We can help get our seniors there. Does that cost anything? They do not. Um, We are covered under the Older Americans Act. So all of those programs are offered on a suggested donation basis. So um, basically it's whatever the seniors can afford. Some of our in-home care programs does have a sliding scale uh, fee, very, very minimal. And again, if the senior's not able to to make that, we do have ways to, to help cover that. We never want a senior to go without services for their inability to pay. Who are your providers? Not by name, <clears throat> excuse me, but by category. Are they all volunteers? Or are they? Um, well, as far as the services, we do. We like have, the in-home services and oh, such. The that's, that's pretty. That, that is all staff um, because they're all background checked. They have extensive training before they can go into the home. So anyone that's off-site is, is staff. Um, all of our programs that are led at the Senior Center, all the activities, um, the different classes, they're all led by volunteers. And how much staff do you have? Uh, we have 
approximately just under 100 staff right now. Um, wow. We have uh, only 11 of those are full time. Primarily, the majority, probably 70% of our staff works in the field. So either they're drivers, they're in-home care staff, they're in-home respite providers. So how many in-home care visits can you manage per unit of time? It really, it really depends on the need of the senior. It really depends on the program. Certain programs allow certain hours of services and maximum hours of services. So a lot of times, because we provide the environmental care, we also partner with other agencies throughout the community to do the skilled care. Uh, we're never in the home at the same time with them because that would be a duplicate of services, but uh, we are able to, to partner up to make sure all of their needs are met. John Bodwell, it strikes me the two of you kind of work in the same audience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I own a Medicare insurance agency, so we, we do a lot of work with the same people. And these are definitely people that, that need help. And we run into a lot of people that, you know, a lot of them are lonely, a lot of them, especially through COVID. I mean, it, it, it really took a toll on our seniors. We lost a lot of seniors during COVID, um, just from the loneliness, the isolation. A lot of our seniors that would come to the senior center pre-COVID are now in-home care participants because they just they declined so quickly. And even though we tried to convert a lot of our, our programs to reach out and to make phone calls and to do as much as we could, our hands were, were kind of tied in a lot of ways. And, and we did see a decline in, in a lot of our seniors. Well, they didn't. They didn't have the interaction. They didn't have. No, not at all. There wasn't. Uh, there wasn't a. Hey, it's Tuesday. I'm going to the senior center. Keeping them. Keeping them up. Keeping them moving. Right. And a lot of our seniors, it's they look forward to that. And you know, a lot of our seniors have said, "This is my. This is my country club. This is where I go to get see my friends. This is." And they all kind of stay in touch with one another, and they all text one another. And it's it. It's really. It is a community. And where is the senior center? It's on 217 North High Street. It used to be the old High Street Elementary School. How many, on a, in a given month, roughly how many seniors do you guys serve? Um, it, it really varies depending on, um, right now we're delivering meals to about 100 seniors and we deliver three times a week, um, providing meals for seven days a week. It, on any given day, we can see upwards of 75 to 100 seniors come through the Senior Center for the various activities, the various classes, especially if we have a big event. We have uh, bi-monthly birthday bashes, so we usually try to get like a DJ to come in and um, Rick Roan, shout out to Rick Roan and Monty Connor. Uh, they come quite a bit and, and spend some tunes so our seniors can dance. Uh, we have about, um, about 100 in-home care participants that we're providing care for at about probably between 50 and 60 respite um, is there what is the, I mean if somebody if somebody either needs services or knows of someone who needs services what is the phone number that they would call to sort of get in the the intake toward the intake stage of, of getting services from you guys sure the our phone number is 304-263-8873 uh, we post a lot of information on our Facebook page, and it's just Berkeley Senior Services. Our website is currently um, under reconstruction, I guess you could say. So we're hoping to launch that in the very near future to to be able to provide information as well. well I think a lot of seniors are on Facebook. So that's where they, they, they see their, their grandkids and everybody. They it's are. amazing. We, we used Facebook Live quite a bit during the pandemic, and it was just kind of a way to be able to connect with the seniors, and, and it really worked. It, it, was, it was a good tool. Do you have any new programs or programs in the works, some, some new stuff you're going to be doing with seniors? We are. We're, we're looking to expand to our gentlemen. Um, a lot of our a lot of our population are the ladies, so we're looking to kind of reach out and see what are the guys like. What would the guys like to have while the ladies come? Um, we have a, a brand new pool table that's about a year and a half old that that we were able to to get from a grant from the community foundation. So um, you know we're just we're looking for we're always looking for different activities and and our calendars are always changing based on what the seniors are requesting or what kind of volunteers we have come in. A lot of times, volunteer will come in and say, hey, you know, I, I can do a yoga class once a week. Could you fit that on the calendar? Absolutely. That's fun. We do, uh, I do a lot of events at senior centers and, and low-income senior apartment buildings and, and regular senior apartment buildings. We, do, we just, we had an agent out yesterday doing Medicare bingo 
They yeah. did a big bingo. Yeah. A lot of a uh, lot of food. A lot of you always. I mean, always bring little Debbies because uh-huh. they love little Debbies. Oh, yes. everybody loves oh, little Debbies. Yes. Everybody yes. loves yes. little Debbies. Yeah. And you always yes. have to make sure when you're dealing with seniors that you bring snacks also that are sugar free, because a lot of them are lot not allowed to have sugar. And if they and watch the salt. Yeah, and yes. watch the salt. But yes. a lot of them who aren't allowed to have sugar, you watch their friends say, hey, wait a second, Tony, you're, you're, not, you're not supposed, supposed to. to yes, that. exactly. Yeah, Because yeah. well, they're still reaching for them. Yeah, and, and what's great about our nutrition department is our seniors can let our, our nutrition team know that. And all of our meals are prepared on site by, and, um, from scratch. And I can so, vouch for those meals as being excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's the chef yeah. now? Um, it's still Denise. Oh, still Shanice. Shanice, very nice. Shanice is still there. So, you know, if, if a senior does have the dietary restriction, we can accommodate that. i got to come over and have a meal. It sounds Absolutely. good. Absolutely. It's come like, what, over. $5 you know, if you're, if you're uh, not a senior? Five twenty-five if you're not a senior. Yeah, yeah and, and seniors can eat free or they can contribute if they want to. Exactly. Right? Yep. And a senior to us is anyone over the age of 60. And is everybody welcome? Just anybody is welcome. Anybody and everybody is welcome at the senior center. We have fitness equipment. Um, when the Dorothy McCormick Center closed their wellness center, um, Dana Dejarnet was fantastic and reached out and said, "Hey, we've got some of this equipment. Could you guys use it?" Absolutely. So we have um, we have ellipticals and we have treadmills and rowers and weights and a, a lot of we have a giant fitness room. Um, so a lot of people I will stop in and take advantage of that. Saw this uh, stat on Alzheimer's. So one of the things that they're discovering as they research this is that you are less likely in many cases to get Alzheimer's. Uh, if you stay active socially with a group of friends as you age. Absolutely, because you're stimulating that part of the brain where the disease likes to attack. So if you keep that stimulated, then it, it helps that from, from happening. I think all of us still have that inner high schooler somewhere in us where we hesitate we to go into a new place with new people and everybody else already knows each other and you're just kind of the, the new guy. Is there a uh, an introduction program that, that people who attend for the first time are sort of eased in? We do. Um, we have quite a few seniors that are kind of the welcoming committee. And we have one table specifically that anybody that's new, they want to meet the new person because they want to, you know, that, that would be the popular person. So, um, yes, we we do have quite a few that, that does welcome. We have a staff member um, who is a senior herself that sits at the front desk. So she's excellent at greeting and kind of integrating anyone that's new because it can be intimidating or a little overwhelming and a lot of times our seniors you know we'll have somebody 95 years old walk through the door and say I'm not old enough to come here you know this is the place for the old people so what we what we do is they then become a volunteer so they are not necessarily part of the program so to speak but they're helping with the program so that makes it all better Amy, we are just about out of time. Any like final that. things you want to let people know about? Um, we are part of the Unity campaign this year with the United Way. So if you feel inclined to give to our seniors, we are Unity 5. Very nice. Good to see you again. Great to see you. And thank you for the uh, desserts. Not a problem. Amy Orndoff from Berkeley Senior Services.